coming to you all with news. You see, I have, what do you say, how do you say it, um, is a box like this y'all are in it there's me right there I'm right here now I don't believe in this whole Andrew Tate matrix theory thing but I do believe that there's a concept of what we call so-called the the matrix. It's the confines of society. And I want to ask you all, who are you really? What are your goals, your dreams? Why don't you pursue them? Because society breaks you down, makes you believe that you can never follow or become anything. Or amount to anything. It's very toxic. Unhuman, if you'll call it. <laughs> Be more like me. Escape the confines of this box. This. As I'm going to call it for now, the matrix. Or a matrix. If you go off the actual computer programming, and not the movie. A matrix is a code of sorts. Something you need to follow. A, uh, a box. A strict outline. And if you, if you go outside of society, you get outside of this box, like I did. You get harassed, bullied, criticized. And thought of as insane. Now, I assure you, there is nothing wrong with my brain. I have not gone radical. I have not lost my mind. But if you have a dream, pursue it. Don't stop because society tells you to stop. Go with what you feel. Escape the escape the make. The, uh, the box of society. Because as humans, we are all insane. You, some of us might not like to admit it. Because of all these people's opinions and money. Money, that's what that's all it comes down to. It's the reason people don't follow their dreams is money. If you want to become a therapist, or a gorilla tinker. Follow that, go to classes for it. Because ultimately, is working your nine to five job right now, or your high school job actually making you money? Yes. But is that a stable life career? No. You're not gonna work at McDonald's for the rest of your life. At least I hope not. Cause y'all are in this box um act well, the way i act is normal unnormal seen as eccentric in a way um i assure you i'm not insane i'm just not scared to be myself and everybody confides and needs lies but uh Escape. I'm gonna ask you all, all again, who are you? Don't give me no basic answer and tell me your name. What are your dreams, your goals, 
What do you want in your life? Now that may be all way too hard to figure out. You guys are only kids. I mean, personally, I knew what I wanted to do since 13. You, if, you watch, if you're watching this, you already know what I want to do. Have I been working on it? Yes. I have multiple songs in the workings right now. I'm just waiting on my guy with beats to come through. See, like I said, it's a box. Matrix, the Matrix isn't this. We're being controlled by the government in a separate dream reality. No, we're in the uh, shackles and confines of society as a whole. If you all change your way of thinking, the, the box is gone. It's not there anymore. And all of a sudden you have people all the way out here doing everything they want. Getting their dream jobs. Having families. And the reason our economy is so fucked is because you have... Well, it's also a lot of very political. It's but it's because of the society as a whole is trapped inside this box. This ideology. Of thinking they have to be like everybody else. They have to act like everybody else. And if you don't, you're not normal. I mean, for those of you in basketball, you've seen how I've acted in class. Do I care what people think of me? No. Do I deliberately go out of my way to seek approval? No. I, I find my, I find approval in myself. You, you can't have a relationship with anybody until you find yourself first. See, I see that with a lot of kids nowadays. They just rush into relationships not knowing anything about themselves, who they are, or what they even want to do. You need to find yourself first before or event. Escape this box. I, w I want you all in the comments to tell me who you actually are. What are your dreams? What are your goals in life? What do you hope to achieve with your life? Now, these are all very big questions that nobody act asks anymore because they're all distracted by money, greed, the wanting to fit in. See, if the thing is with this theory, as I call it, of mine, is there's millions, if not billions of people on this planet. There's going to be a few of them that are alike. But if we all think we all have to be alike, and there's no diversity at all, <laughs> then what are we living in? As people who are, say, a simulation. No, it's not a simulation. Just escape the box of the confines of society. If y'all go on TikTok and see a famous dancer, y'all copy that dancer. I've seen it with my own eyes. The floss was this big thing. Because it wasn't a game. And then everybody started doing it. If you didn't do it, you were criticized, ridiculed, and thought of as not the same. Or if you don't have TikTok downloaded, you're looked at as looked at as not a person per se. I don't have TikTok. I barely follow social media at all at this point. Social media is a uh, problem in my eyes um and it's one of the biggest con contributions to the box of society so you have the main box of society right here but with social media it's like act at an other another shield you see it adds to the box it makes it harder to escape 
per se. No. There's the box of society. And, this, and what everybody believes or perceives as normal. Then you have uh, social media. The bigger picture. If you do one thing wrong that's looked at as not normal or indifferent, you have millions and millions and millions of people flooding your comment section saying you're insane or you need mental help. I know because I had this buddy, a fellow YouTuber of mine, who posted a video a while back and he said some quote unquote insane things because he escaped the box like me. No, I'm not on no Andrew Tate level shit. I'm not telling you to uh, escape the Matrix. Um, just be yourself. Don't confide or look for yourself or look for approval in others. That shows that you will, um, have less confidence in yourself. Because if you look for yourself in others, you're eventually going to become that person. And then you all become the same. And it's a problem, if you ask me. A very, 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 very big problem that needs to be addressed. So, just, like, be yourself. Don't look for your yourself. Yeah, I believe that almost everybody needs to be off their phones. Nearly, like, the way I see it is... If you want self-improvement, you need four things, or five things, whatever number it is. You need to sleep four to eight hours. That, that's one of the biggest things. You need to be in a deep study for four hours. Socialize with friends or family for two or three hours. Wake up at a decent early time. Go to bed at a good, not all super late time. Work out for one hour or two hours. Um, you can be on social media, but there should be a limit that people should be on it, in my opinion. For, like... I'd say for good mental health, the next you should be on social media, TikTok, or anything like that, is maybe three hours. See, I see it more and more and more every day. These things, as people call them, tablet kids. Yes, I had a tablet, and I survived that as my phone when I was in basketball. Leave me alone. This is all I had access to. Um, these kids, who, these little kids who constantly are on their tablets, they're never off of it. They don't talk to anybody. See, we have this whole ass generation of kids who think social media is life. So you have all these little, little kids who think social media is everything. The internet is good, and it's a tool that needs to be used, but in a proper way. So you have these big shots, like, I don't even know how to say his name. I've never watched Bro in my life. Like, Kai Sinent or something like that. And, like, all these people and stuff, they are all encouraging this. It's a marketing strategy in my eyes. If you get everybody to conform to the same thing, you're going to get more views. I don't want that for my viewers. I want them all to be individual people who have their own thoughts, their own dreams. And it's not like a giant hive mind. See, I, I, went, I went to school last year. 
the amount of kids I saw with the same haircuts, and the same mannerisms, they dress the same, almost all of them. We have those few kids who are not afraid to express themselves. See, I was never afraid to express myself. I'll go into a crowd of people and say, I'm stupid. And people think that's weird. That's me just showing I don't care what you think. I have confidence in myself. And y'all need that. Now, um, stay clean. Uh, respect your mother. And keep on your studies.